commentaries. Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here to show you guys my Madden 25 Ultimate Team. And yes, it's a hell of a team right now. And also, this is like four seasons ahead. If you're following me from my uh, series called Madden Ultimate Team with the Trojans XL, that's actually season one. And that was recorded like two months ago or like a month ago. So yeah, it's been a while since season one. And uh, so let's fast forward four seasons ahead and bam, I got all these guys. Look at this, over 90 overall. Hell of a team, already played them already. And goddamn, they were like a hell of a team. So let me show you guys what I what I have like by position so you guys can see uh, who I have in my team. At the quarterback position, I got Alex Smith, who was actually sold to me like for around like 3,000 coins. It was pretty goddamn cheap for a 93 overall quarterback. At the backup position, we got Colin Kaepernick. Now, uh, the reason why he was sold to me like for real cheap is because he's injury prone and also he cannot throw long passes. But the thing that I like about this guy is that he likes to throw short passes. I mean, he can actually throw them there. And he's pretty goddamn accurate. So you're going to be able to see less misses from this guy because he does have that high accuracy. I mean, look at that, 95. Are you kidding me? So um, that's what I like about Alex Smith. And in order for you to prevent from Alex Smith get, to get, from getting injured is by playing two quarterbacks. Now, this is a glitch right here. This is, the, this is going to be the first time you can ever hear this from, uh, from, from, from Madden 25. There is a glitch in the quarterback position. Now, I discovered this back in November. Um, if you only play two quarterbacks in the quarterback position, the quarterbacks are never going to be injured at all. Even though it does say sometimes like the commentator will say, like, oh, we got an injured player on the field. Um, your quarterback is going to still be playing and the stats will not be affected. So there you have it guys. The first time you can ever hear it, your quarterback, you know, there's a, there's a glitch in the quarterback position. The glitch is the quarterback cannot be injured at all. Just play two quarterbacks in the game. That's it. That's all you have to do. And your quarterbacks will never get injured. Even though you scramble, they get the shit pop, of, pop out of him, he's never going to get injured. So that's how I, I that's how I prevent from Alex Smith from getting injured and all that stuff. So, so yeah, and I don't play Andrew Luck. I mean, I just have him there in my uh, reserve sometimes. At the halfback position, we got Shane Vereen, a hell of a running back. He's pretty much fast, 94 speed, 95 acceleration. He's pretty fast. Uh, the backup is Demarco Murray. Third string is Thurman Thomas. At fullback position, we got Franco Harris, who's been here since season one. So after four seasons, yeah, he's still there. He's a hell of a fullback, and also that guy Anthony Sherman. But I don't play him at all. At wide receiver, we got Demaris Thomas, and my second stringer is actually Campbell Thompkins. The reason why is because he does have a lot of release, more than DeAndre Hopkins, but he does have this less than Steven Johnson's. The, the reason why I don't start this guy is because he's pretty much slow, and he cannot take off, you know, down the field at all. So, so yeah, that's why I have Steven Johnson as my fourth now because you know I'm rec I recruited some other two fast guys that I decided you know it's time to sit down with Steven Johnson because the cornerbacks are getting faster and they're getting better in man coverage and pressing. So I, I'm starting Campbell Thompkins. My third stringer is DeAndre Hopkins. The reason why is because he does have a lot of catching traffic. Four stringers is my Stevie Johnson over here. And then we got our emergency receiver, which is Hakeem Nix and Denarius Moore. And Trenton Holiday, he's never going to play receiver because he does have very low stamina. He's only good for kick returner and punt returner. Just letting you guys know. At tight end, we got Charles Clay, a guy who's prototype. The reason why I picked him up over Vernon Davis is because this guy can actually catch and block at the same time. Look at his stats right now. He does have 86 speed, 87 catching, 74 run block strength, and uh, he, he does have a lot of catching traffic. So he's prototype. He can do both at the same time over Vernon Davis. Vernon Davis, the highest he can ever go in catching is 77. And look at this guy. He does have 87 catching, and he can block. Not better than Vernon, but he can actually still block some, somehow, some way, you know. So, pick Charles Clay over Vernon Davis. But not over Jared Cook, though. Actually, pick up Jared Cook. He's actually a lot better if you're playing more of a spread offense. Uh, back, my backup tight end is actually uh, Fred Davis, because he's my uh, backup emergency tight end also. He's a great catcher. And my other tight ends, Martellus Bennett and, and Humanawi, um, those guys are perfect for kick returning. Because they can actually block. I mean, look at their run block stuff. You know, 79. This other guy has like 82. So, these guys are going to pretty much clear the path for you in the kick returns. Left tackle, we got Russell Okong. Left guard is Joe Thomas. At the center position, we got Mike Webster since season 2. Uh, right guard, we got Todd Hermans. Um, that actually got him for free, though. Because of uh, the Madden Ultimate Team bonus thing. Uh, right tackle, we got Tyson Clavel, who actually cost me 4,000 coins. Now, if you go to auctions right now and look for an 85 overall 
uh, offensive linemen, they actually cost like around 10,000 coins. But if you go to the Miami Dolphins teams, there's guys selling these guys, Tyson Clavo and Richie Cognito, 89 overall. They're selling them for 4,000 coins every single day. So I suggest to head over to Miami Dolphins and recruit these two guys because you're going to have finally some good old line. Because it does take a while to get some good old line. I mean, look at this guy. I still have this guy since season two. So, yeah. So my own is getting better because I'm recruiting Dolphin players. At the left end starter, I actually have Michael Bennett as my starter. He's a great bull rusher. And he pretty much, you know, can get it there. So sometimes to the, uh, to the quarterback. And he can stop some runs. I mean, I see him stop some great runs. Uh, George Sovey is my backup. This guy is actually my starting defensive tackle. Uh, these guys are my backups also for defensive tackles. And uh, right in, we got my starter, Jason P. Paul, my very defensive end of all time. Actually, third, the best defensive end of all time that I really like. You know, uh, he's a hell of a fast guy. You know, I like him. I just wish I got his original character. I think he's like around 93 overall. But it's going to cost me like around 10,000 coins and it's a freaking hassle. So, moving on to the defensive tackles, we got Randy Stark as my second stringer. I'm still looking for more DTs, which is, um, I got my eyes on Marcelo Darius from the Bills because he's actually being sold like for around 5,000 coins or less. And also from the Bengals, we got uh, Dino Atkins. That guy's also being sold like for around 2,000 coins to 3,000 coins. I seen, I seen him real cheap. The reason why I didn't recruit him because I was going to buy Demarius Thomas who got, cost me like around 10,000 coins. So that's why, you know, I missed on that opportunity. So, yeah, uh, I want you guys to go right now to the Bills roster and to the Bengals roster and look for those two DTs. They're pretty much cheap. Geno Atkins over 90 overall and also Marcel Darius over 90 overall for, for uh, 4,000 coins each. So that's pretty much uh, those two good guys right there. I left outside linebacker. These guys are not my starters. These guys are my backups. They're pretty much good for uh, kickoff. Uh, my middle linebacker is Ray Maluaga, a great tackler. I like how he tackles. And Patrick Willis is, is in uh, automatic. He does like automatic fumbles. He's pretty good in kickoff. So I suggest to have him there in kickoff sometimes. Right outside linebackers, we got Malcolm Smith and Danny Trevithan. Lawrence Taylor for kickoff also. He's an automatic fumble also. Uh, cornerbacks, we got Keenan Lewis. Kyle Arrington and Dominic Rogers Kamadi. Now the reason why I recruited these guys because they have high man coverage, 93 man coverage, 93 man coverage, and 92 man coverage. I mean they pretty much can cover the receivers in man coverage, so I don't have to play zone. Uh, third and fourth, we got David Emerson. He's pretty much okay for now. I'm gonna actually let him go later on after I recruit another cornerback. And um, yeah, pretty much it. These two guys are just there just to fill the holes. Uh, Reggie Nelson, a free safety, strong safety. We got T.J. War, a hell of a tackler. And kicker, we got Rob Bironas. And punter, we got Donnie Jones. Now, um, a little bit extra, guys. I'm looking for Des Bryant, like for under 9,000 coins, but this is quite impossible. So, uh, so yeah, later on, I'm adding more receivers. Either Des Bryant or Marquise Colston, because those two guys are the cheapest guys. Well, actually, not the cheapest. Those two guys are pretty good. It's just that, uh, you know, they cost way too much sometimes. Marquise Colston, you can actually buy like for 2,000 coins sometimes, but. I'm, I'm still thinking like either I should go for Des Bryant all the way or be lazy and get Marquise Colston because Marquise Colston is kind of slower though. So I want I do want to pick up Des Bryant after all though, now that I think about it. So so yeah, later on I'm going to have Des Bryant in my team. So that's my team guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to do any kind of trading, you know, I'm willing to trade uh, my right outside linebackers to anyone if they have somebody good. But I want somebody good over 90 overall though, either defensive linemen or linebackers. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and uh, subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Man Ultimate Team games. So I'll see you